there's a lot of correlations to running yeah and, I love this part. To, and to finance right yeah. and and so first of all you got to know where you're at today right, right? you're not going to call go that like a benchmark tomorrow. I think we, we would call that in training we'd be like we need to set our benchmark to find exactly. out where we are as a runner where are you right now right yeah and where where's your score right now and where are I'm you I'm broke fit? I'm just right? kidding yeah. I'm semi-fit <laughs> so, I'm super fit yeah whatever it's going to be yeah 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 and then from there you go into each of the components and like running you're going to work on distance you're going to work on diet you might even do some some sprints here and there for your, mm -hmm. for your speed some days you're going to go long some days you're going to go short you may do high altitude training who knows whatever things right. you're going to incorporate into into your regime you're going to eat right you're going to sleep right so all yep. those things are going to so many pieces to it yeah and and credit's no different right credit's no different in that you go into each of the components whether it be payment history utilization rate uh, you know are there any derogatories that were on your credit from any period of time all yeah. that becomes a roadmap to okay what do i go in and fix and we even have a simulation tool on there that says hey what if i paid down my debt and got my utilization rate in a right. certain way? or oh what if i closed an account you know a lot of times that's um, cool so you can kind of see how things at, move based on what actions they could take it's yeah and a lot of times people take the wrong action one maybe early on they let their credit get bad um second they'll close an account let's say it's the first account they ever established they close the account well that changes their utilization rate mm. and their and their credit history so the thing wow. that was actually propping their credit history up they think they're doing a good job by closing accounts so they don't spend on it right. and therefore it changes the makeup of their of their credit report Wow. Right. So, so you want to manage, you want to understand how the score is calculated and how to have, so for instance, I'll give you an example. Let's say you've got 20,000 in credit limits, right? Yep. And you're using 5,000 of that. Um, that's 25% utilization and it's under 30%, which is a good thing. Right. Right. And so when we're saying this, we're saying tw most most of them are credit cards, maybe, or or what could they be? What yeah, could these, uh, this credit open be? lines of credit. So it could be a yeah. credit line or or credit cards, right? Yeah. So you're you're available to use okay. in terms of your credit. Yep. Uh, and I may be going too deep on this, but I no, no, this is great. I'm important. honest. I'm engaged because I'm in like that, I'm trying to figure it out for myself. Make this mistake a lot. Yeah. And so they go, well, I'm going to close that one card. So I'm not tempted to use it. So they take the $10,000 line and they close it. Well, now when the Bureau looks at their utilization rate, it just went from 25% to 50% because they've got five grand now on a 10, 10K limit. Now they're using 50% of their available credit as opposed to 25%. Oh my gosh. So yeah. little things like that can have an impact on your utilization rate, which is 23% of your credit score. 